Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial for absolute beginners. Now last time we had you make your very first mesh and it was a 2D thing and to be honest that's not really a common way to make meshes. Uh, let me show you an example here. Open up your Blender, get rid of the splash screen and obviously you have your default cube. Well let's say we go up to add, go to mesh and select monkey. Now let's try and zoom in a little oh, I moved him around I'm going to zoom in a little on this monkey and hit tab to enter edit mode and you can see it's made up of a lot of vertices a lot of faces and a lot of edges it's pretty complex and if you notice they're also perfectly symmetric now I don't know about you but trying to do all that by hand would be very difficult so and I'm going to hit delete now and go to vertices to get rid of him. So that was just to show you how complex some meshes can be and that's not even a very complex one. So what most people do is they start off with a, a shape that is pre-made, is perfectly symmetric and they kind of mold that into like sculpt it if you will into what they want it to be rather than just draw it all hand by like by hand. So we're gonna do something really simple today my system keeps yelling at me. So what we're gonna do is take this default cube that everybody starts out with and we're going to, okay, there we go. Now it's back to normal. We're gonna take this default cube that everybody starts out with and we're gonna turn it into a really simple house. Now it's not gonna have pretty colors and textures just yet. It's gonna be a really simple house but it's gonna give us a lot of good insight into what's going on and how to how to use some really cool tools. So the first thing we need to do is zoom in a little bit. Actually hit 3 on the numpad or if you're emulating the numpad, it's just 3 on the normal buttons, but hit 3 on the numpad to enter this uh, front or right perspective view uh, that, that lines up the perfect view. And zoom in a little bit so that the square is pretty big on your screen. This is going to be our house and the next thing you want to do is enter edit mode by hitting tab and then these axes tend to get in our way so we're going to try and turn those or we're going to turn those off by holding down control and pressing the space bar and that gets rid of them and you can toggle that on and off so the next thing you need to do is we need to be able to see through this shape to kind of work with the vertices in the back and the faces on the back side. And there's this really cool option on the 3D view header called Occlude Geometry. And well, it says here limit selection to visible, but you can see it's called Occlude Geometry. And I can't describe this, this icon. I'm not even gonna try, but you can see it on the video here. Just click on that and you'll notice in the 3D view window, it's subtle, but you'll notice you can see through it now. You can see these vertices and you can actually click on them and select them through the, the face that would have obscured them or occluded them before. So let's go ahead and hit A to deselect everything. And you're gonna want to, we're gonna just kind of resize a little bit for the start. So select the all the top vertices by right clicking on one and then holding down shift and right clicking the others on the top. Now to resize the, the height we're gonna hit G for grab and that'll let us move it around but then hit Z to lock it to the Z axis and we're gonna come down a bit probably about here. How you want to make your house is totally up to you but I'm just doing this kind of as a refresher and it makes the house look a little better. Now with those top four vertices still selected, we're gonna learn a new tool today. And that tool is called Extrude. Very useful tool. So what happens, and I'll show it to you as I do it, you press the E key, E as in eat or edible, and you hit E, and you'll see it actually like brings out new vertices. They're locked to the Z axis right now. Sometimes they're not. But what it does is it copies those vertices that you had selected. It makes copies of them and connects them to, it connects the copies to the ones you had selected. And then it gives you control, like grab control of those copies. It's a lot easier to see than to explain. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna extrude out 
a roof or an attic and go up, I don't know, let's say there's good, you can always resize it later and then you're going to want to left click to set that. So again you select those vertices, hit E to extrude, if it's not locked to the Z axis go ahead and hit Z and then just move your mouse up to pull it out. And now we want to make a, not an apartment building with a square roof, let me go back to that view, but you're going to want to make a pointed roof. So the easiest way to do that is to select again all these top four vertices, which as you can see are still selected in mine, hit Q to bring, oh sorry not Q, W, hit W to bring up the specials menu, and this has some just special tools you can use. We're going to use the merge tool to merge those top four vertices, and then we're going to select at center, and I'll show you what this does does exactly what it said it would do. It takes those four vertices we had selected, finds the center point, and connects them all into one. And now we have a nice pretty roof for our house. Uh, you can obviously change the views if you want to. You can then hit G to resize your roof however you want. Try and keep it symmetric by hitting Z and just going up and down but you can make a tall roof, short roof, tall walls, short walls. You can select it all by hitting A and you can move it up to the plane if you want it to be right on that plane. But that is two new tools that you need to be really familiar with because they're really, really useful and that is extrude, the E key. That's what we did to pull out the roof and the merge which we got to by hitting W and going to the specials menu. So this is our house. This is our simple easy house. And what you're going to want to do now is save this because we're going to use this in a later tutorial. So make sure you save it by just going to file and save as. I'm going to save it right here on the desktop and we'll save it as simple house. And then hit save as blender file and it should bring you back to here. If it doesn't bring you back to here, just find your header, change it back to how it should be. Now once that's saved, another thing you can look at, and this is kind of a preview for the next tutorial video, is if you hit F12 on your keyboard, and it may be different for a Mac user, you may need to hit function F12. The F keys are kind of weird on, on Mac, um, especially laptops. So if you hit F12, it'll do what's called a quickie render. And this, from your camera that we talked about early on in the tutorials, from that camera, it'll show you uh, like a really quick render of your scene. It has the light source that was default in there. That's how we have the shading on the different sides. And it'll just do a really quick render. Uh, to exit out of this, hit Escape. And I want to show you, if you hit the zero key on your numpad, it will show you exactly what that quickie render should be. So again, hit F12, and look at that. It's exactly what we thought it would be. And then hit Escape to get out of that. I'm going to hit 0 to toggle out of the camera. But as you'll see, we can actually, and I'll go through this the next time, you can actually change the camera and move it around, as well as move the light source around. And that will be the subject of the next tutorial. So thank you guys for coming here. Make sure you do save that house. And we're going to use that later. And I will see you next time.